for the serious gamer. <laughs> yeah! Oh, wolf pack. I'm not gonna do a huge howl. You guys can howl when you watch it. Most of the, uh, most of the NGT members and live streamers, I forget who was actually in this. Um, but they always howl in the beginning to annoy people. This is actually a very, uh, fun way to play this game. And we call it the wolf pack strategy, and here it is. It's actually very simple, but it's a lot of fun and surprisingly very effective. This is all you gotta do. Make sure you have a team of six, obviously, because everyone needs to sort of be running and gunning together. But you don't stop, and it's not camping by any means. It's the opposite complete extreme. And what we're gonna do is we do three uh, team mem members, three team members run counterclockwise, and three, the other three members run clockwise. And all you're doing is constantly on the move. So all you you can see them running by. They're just zinging, and you don't ever stop. All you're doing is you keep going through, and you kind of you ignore the middle, uh, the middle target or whatever, because it's irrelevant. I mean, in this game, as long as you've got, uh oh, I mean, you got to play smart. Oh, I was gonna say you got to play smart, and I died anyway. So the basic idea is, three members are constantly circling one way. The other three are constantly going the other way, and you're basically even if you lose one of the flags. Chances are, no matter what, the other team circles in, and if you're coming across sort of uh, problems from one end, like say you're coming in this way and they were hunkered down there, they're going to be distracted with you. Meanwhile, your other team's circling around from the rear, and there's always a team flanking. Like, it's honestly, it's a lot of fun, and it's just a crazy way to play. That Look at them, they're just running by, and you don't stop. You just keep running. There's no, like, defending a flag. There's no, you know, trying to be sneaky, going inside. You ignore it. Uh, all you do is you keep moving. You die, you keep moving. It doesn't matter where it is. doesn't matter where your teammates are. doesn't matter. You don't run. have to run in a pack of fruit. We tried all sorts of different methods. Uh, at first we ran all as one giant uh, pack, and then that became problematic because, like I said, I mean, if you come up to a certain point and they're sort of hunkered down and defensive, you're, you're trying to push in and you're sitting there and you're wasting time trying to push in from one area. But with six players constantly on the move, the other teams seem to be, like, incredibly confused. <laughs> by the constant m movement and the, the chaos of it, but it's actually very organized and, and super easy to do. You're just, you're always moving. This team's always going. No matter what, everyone's going through there. You can see them constantly moving. Doesn't really matter what path you're going, but as long as your pathway is the perimeter of the map, and you sort of take your way oh through God. one of the flags. Because all you're going to do is you're going to run through, you're going to kill whoever's there, and keep going. If the flag is captured, you're going to go by that uh, flag, you're going to capture it first, you're going to stay there, and you're going to keep moving. If you die, who cares? Keep moving. You don't go back, you just keep moving, because there's always going to be a teammate that's going to hit that flag sooner or later. So you don't worry about it. And it's, I'm telling you, it's it seems a little chaotic, but it's a lot of fun. Like, look at this guy. If you're... Oh, Always on the move, they get, they have no idea what to do. There's, they have no defense against it, because um, there's always someone coming from. They're getting pinched. They're getting pinched from both directions. No matter how they position themselves, you're. There's always someone coming from one, uh, from two directions, and they can't, uh, they can't de defend against it. It's absolutely hilarious. You are just to make sure that you guys are aware of this. You are going to need. Um, one class at least with cold blooded because when you're doing this even though you will win from point standpoint you tend to, to get killed a lot and i think i do okay in this one but you do get killed a lot which means that the enemy players especially if someone's camping or a sniper's perch somewhere chances are they're going to get some kill streaks and you're going to get stuff like pave lows and harriers uh, i mean your teammates can actually have if your teammates have um, you know, javelins or, or whatever, then they can take it down, right? I mean, they can take it out of the sky, but it's generally safe to have a cold-blooded class so that you can just keep on the move here. But I'm telling you right now, if you got to try this, get if you got a clan already or a group of guys you play with, try the wolf pack. It's actually a lot of fun and surprisingly very effective. It doesn't work on every single map, just based on the, the layout of the map. Sometimes it's a little bit harder. Skid Row super easy. Uh, I believe that uh, Wasteland works well as well, and Derail. Derail is really easy. 
Now remember, you ignore it. I, if you can see, we haven't gotten or, or even come close to getting B. I don't think any of us have even attempted it. But you don't need it. You get two flags in domination and you win the game. So it's pretty easy to do. You can see, I'm getting some kill streaks. Um, do I get any more? No, oh, I don't even know what my kill streaks are set at. It's probably a good idea to generally have them lower down because of the nature of this strategy where you are constantly on the move and you don't stop to sort of hunker down. You don't care. You just keep going. You shoot what moves and you keep moving. It doesn't really matter. There is a good possibility that you're going to die. See that? I was even backing up. Now that's some skill, huh? Not really. But <laughs> anyway, see that guy, he gets a kill, but look, there's another little wolf coming by to chew his nuts off. And they're all in the inside. You see, they're trying to peg people off. But it doesn't matter. Even if they're sort of trying to, to nip people or sit back and all they're doing is defending their one flag, or they're probably spawning there, to be quite honest. I mean, some of you guys are like, no guts. They're just spawning there because you guys are dominating. Now, here, here's the thing where you can see, I think it's A. So A has been captured. We just keep moving. We don't worry about it. Everyone doesn't turn around. They just keep moving. There you go. And then it's recaptured. It was the only time that... <laughs> <laughs> you can see these guys running by. Oh my god. You know what? I The one thing I couldn't stop doing when I was playing this was laughing. You're just laughing. There's there's no real strategy. There's no calling out anyone. You can chit chat. You can call, you know, just talk about whatever. It doesn't really matter because there, there's no, you don't even have to think. You put your brain on off and you just run and you shoot everything that friggin that you see in front of you. You don't have to worry about the sides. You're not taking time to look down tunnels or check behind this or check behind that. You're just constantly running. You don't stop. You get killed. Who cares? Restart. Keep going. No worries. Where we got anyone here? And some run on the outside. Some run on the inside. It doesn't really matter. As long as you follow the general path um, of, of the outside perimeter. And remember, like I said, oh, there's Jack. Uh, as long, like I said, as long as you follow that and your teammates don't sort of uh, venture off from that too much, then you're going to... Oh, damn it. I'm going to die there. I mean, really, what does it matter? Oh, my God, Chopper Gunner. Long live the wolf pack. Ow! Yeah! I don't know. I mean, really, should I be doing Chopper Gunner? Ah, why not? You know what? Skid Row is a bad place. It was an off topic from the Wolfpack strategy. This is a brutal map for Chopper Gunner. It's probably not. If you're going into this one, don't choose Chopper Gunner. Chopper Gunner uh, is kind of a waste of time, and especially in Domination, you're more likely to just get killed than to get kills, because there's so many places that enemy players can hide, like this, I mean, really. And we already have them all sort of spawning inside. Look, oh, we lost A again. Is it A? Oh, no, no, it's uh, C, right near me. Beautiful. All right, so we capture... No worries, and then we just keep on moving. There's enough, see, look, from either direction. They came from the other direction, and now they're going to keep moving. One was from my direction, the other one, and then you just keep moving. You don't stop having fun, you're laughing, you're howling, and you're dominating the competition. Oh, uh, what do I talk about now? Um, what's your favorite color, guys? Uh, it's got to be related to the video, so... Um, do you like red or green? Because I'm seeing red or green. I like green. You know what I mean? Green is a good color. Damn it, boys. We're losing the other one. See, and I think maybe near the end they kind of figured out what we were doing. Oh, and that's another thing. If you're playing this uh, back actually on topic, surprisingly, I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about. But here I am. Um, if they start figuring out, they usually don't figure out to the end, but if they do figure out what the heck you're doing, which, you know, if they're reasonably intelligent, they will, you need to back out after that and uh, play a different set of randoms. The reason being is it's not, you know, an impenetrable strategy. It will work on fresh new randoms, but if you play, um, if you play sort of two in a row, they tend to figure out and know what you're doing, and they'll actually create... Uh, you know, naturally create defenses against what you guys are doing, and they'll sort of take shots, and they'll get a ton of kill streaks. Anyway, I'm Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. Hope you like the Wolf Pack. I don't have a lot of them, but it was a lot of fun making it. Ow!